Uh, I want to say that, uh, first of all, I'm uh, very grateful for uh, the leadership and the advocacy that Rakhio Peli plays around HIV AIDS, not only in Fiji but across the region, and uh, UNAIDS is here. And uh, we will all agree that uh, he's been a beacon of hope for many uh, of us in the Ministry of Health, but also for patients and uh, support and also families. As you are aware, uh, with HIV AIDS, the role of families and the role of friends is so important. So um, thank you very much, Ratu, for all your support over the years and uh, uh, for being that beacon in which we can look towards. But I want to say that uh, AIDS has done a lot of marvelous work with the Ministry of Health. This is one of them. If you happen to come up to CWM Hospital, you'll see a lot of the good work that they've done in the wards, not only in terms of the physical aspects uh, in health, but also some of the soft work. They've also uh, supported uh, simple things uh, that will make uh, life uh, easier for patients and also uh, families. I was in Nabuno Lebu recently and I saw, again, the hands of ANZ Northern Branch in the children's ward at Sabo Sabo Hospital. So thank you very much, ANZ, uh, uh, for the many ways in which you support health. There was a moment there that we nearly lost uh, this project. City uh, was calling and saying, oh, we need this signed. If we don't get it signed, we'll go to another ministry. And I said to City, City, yeah, uh, be patient. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it signed because we need this. Why? Because as a government, uh, we certainly believe that uh, everyone is equal and that no one should be discriminated and that uh, those who may have issues with HIV AIDS, they are very important uh, people within the community and we must show compassion, we must show a commitment to them as we do with others. And as we reflect on uh, the importance and the magnitude of this clinic and the role that it plays with STI and HIV AIDS, I must remind us that uh, about 30 years ago, there was this issue looming over the world with HIV AIDS, similar to what COVID-19 is doing to the world as we speak. And over the years, we've seen uh, some have passed on, but many have been able to survive because we've got the antiretroviral treatment that's in place. And the way to look after those who are sick is not to take them and put them on an island and say, survive on your own. That is not the way to look after them. This is the way to look after them. To bring them into our hearts, to embrace them, to give them a place where they can call home and be comfortable to become and, and, and be looked after and be treated by the best that we can. And that is a promise that we as a government have as this COVID-19 looms over the nation and over the world that we will not isolate anyone to a far-flung island and left to their own devices. We will ensure that we provide the best in terms of all the layers that we have in place, which includes something similar to what we've been talking about today. So once again, I have nothing but thanks. Thank you, Ratu Peli. Uh, thank you, uh, ANZ. Thank you, Ministry of Health staff. And, uh, and also thank you to our, uh, other many partners that support us and in the work that we do. I want to finish by saying that within the Ministry of Health, we have our normative function. This is a normative function providing support for those who have STIs and HIV and AIDS. Our normative function is our SOPD clinics, is the operations that happen, the delivery of babies. Those are our normative functions. The school visits. But we also, at this moment, we have an extra normative function, which is the preparations that we have in place for COVID-19. We have been extra normative ever since the Mises campaign. We have the Mises campaign, we have the Tropical Cyclone Sarai, Tropical Cyclone Tino, now our preparation. So we've had these extra normative functions working all along. But I'm very grateful that the Honorable Prime Minister and Cabinet has made sure that they supply a significant resources within government to ensure that our normative functions continue as normal and that we have support for the extra normative functions that we have to be able to do as a Minister of Health. And I know that by doing that, we ensure that we provide good health to all those who have routine run-of-the-mill uh, illnesses that need to be treated, including uh, HIV and AIDS and STI, but also ensuring that those who uh, have other things, for example, like the measles campaign, 
we could ensure that we are able to effectively look after them. And as uh, we are all aware, uh, we thank God that no one, uh, no life was taken away in the measles campaign. So I thank you all once again, and I look forward to seeing the inside of this newly refurbished place. Love you.